All right, how are you doing today? Today we're taking a look at uh, Easy Mix 3 here. Just got it, but make a lot more videos on it. I'm gonna test out the mastering assistance, the AI stuff in here, see what it comes up with. I've been playing around with it. It's pretty cool. Some cool stuff you can do. Um, let's check it out. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we go. Uh, when you open up Easy Mix 3, this is one way to do it, the quick start method. Let's go right to mastering. And we can go to AI presets or auto mastering. And we have a couple of different options here. It pops up. Some of these are not AI assistants, but, but you can build your own channel here. You have four slots over here. Another cool feature is there's four different settings that you can do. So you can test out four different options over here as well with the ABCD. But anyways, let's get rid of this. Let's go one of these AI ones here. So we have different options, like I said, all these different mastering chains, chains, <laughs> chains, uh, modern metal. Well, let's play the song beforehand first, because this is not a metal song, but let's just play it. All right, something like that. This little track I made. Uh, so what, what we, what's the first thing we think of here? That could be Americana kind of groove. It could be a pop master radio. It could be, uh, let's just try Americana master two first, see what happens. And then we analyze the track. instantly get a lot of volume obviously so this one came out with the eq we got a stereo width we got loudness and then we got the meters down here as well pretty cool they give you a little guide here tells you to go uh adjust the loudness until the average loss meter shows between minus 14 and minus 7 for the entire track as a general starting point uh easy mix will restrict the, the peak to minus one to optimization for streaming platforms so in this chain here we have a little EQ, a little boost in the low end. We have the stereo width, which is didn't do too much. This, this track's pretty wide. Uh, loudness, and that's like our limiter at the end here. A uh, very low setting, but you know, that's what it came up with. So very interesting. So that's option one. Play it again. B slot, let's try another one here. Now just going back to the default uh, presets. So let's go here into filters, go to mastering, AI assisted. Let's try the retro rock master. This might be a little bit uh, analyze, play the track. All right, so this one, a lot more compression, a lot more loudness. I don't know if it's louder, but, uh, and this is a retro rock master. Now there's no reference track in these ones. If you want to use a reference track thing to, to make your adjustments, you have to obviously use another plugin. This is no reference track that I've noticed in here yet. I don't think there is, but, so this is pretty interesting. It's just a quick look today and we could bounce back before and forth. So you can try different things. And by the way, this AI analyzation stuff works with individual tracks as well. But just a quick look video here, show you what we could do with this. I'm gonna make some more videos once I get familiar, get more familiar with this program here. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, have you tried Easy Mix 3 yet? Have you tried Ozone? Did you use a Logic uh, mastering plugin? We can do some comparisons between all this stuff as well. And actually I'm working on a video where I'm doing my own master versus the logic versus the ozone. But 
yeah, so check it out. Let me know what you think. Quick look today. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.